Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I am super excited because we have all of this cash to work with here. We are going to be doing a bunch of saving challenges and we're going to play some games. But before I let you know how much cash I have here, let's go on to something even better. So I released these savings challenges in my shop yesterday in a video. These are all games and they are a dollar, but everything that's digital in my shop right now is a dollar. I have this new savings challenge, it's a dollar. I have band-aids for life's boo-boo, life's boo-boos. Um, it's a buffer uh, fund. I need a buffer fund. I need something like a week ahead. This this is not as much as a week ahead for me, but I think that this could suffice. So, I am going to definitely definitely be starting this at some point. And then we have pantry stock up because I did have a few of you guys ask me if I could do a pantry stock up and a freezer fill. And they all come with their own printable envelopes. So that way you can cut, well print, cut, and tape them together and start saving. So we have all of these challenges to add to our savings challenge binder, which I need to grab that. Where is it at? Also, if you are wondering, my sale in my shop for my dollar digitals, they that sale goes on until the 14th. Um, so let's get into some savings challenges. So I have spring, my spring savings challenges that I think that we need to work on, but I want to play some games. Let's get our binder out. So this is our game binder. This is an A5. Um, this is one of the biggest binders for budgeting that they have. Um, I stickered mine out. I can easily peel these stickers off, put them on something else, but this is what we have to work with. And you know what? I think it's cute. Um, I'm going to grab my cash tray if I can find it. I tried to do some rearranging in this room yesterday and it didn't go very well not at all so i don't know where my cash tray went i have no idea so we're gonna move these savings challenges aside and i can tell you right now we have a hundred dollars to work with I have been waiting a really long time to get all of this put together because today is my birthday. I want to be able to celebrate my birthday and have a fun time. Not might not be a long time, but it's going to be a fun time, right? So we have our cash over here because I don't know what happened to my cash tray, which is kind of irritating. Um, I do need to get this out as well this also holds savings challenges so if you are new to my channel i know we're four minutes late into the game but if you don't know who i am my name is amanda i am 35 years old today i do cash stuffing sinking fund savings challenges all on a low income i do a lot of budgeting talking about being on a low income and I'm here to cheer you on. So, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, a bestie, you're part of my membership, welcome back. I appreciate you. So, let's get into it. I really wanted to play Shut the Box, but I couldn't find what happened to my laminated copy, so I need to reprint that. Um, we divvied out the money for this particular challenge. Um, so 
let's go ahead and wipe this off the best we can. I think I have a dry erase marker somewhere. Ah, yes. So I'm going to color over the parts that have the black. Somebody told me to do this, so I'm going to try it on, on camera. And we already have our coin. Oh, it did, it did an okay job. All right. Let me grab my Sharpie, which is all the way over here. As you can tell, I wasn't very prepared yet for this video. I am going to grab my coin, which is just a quarter. And you know what? Let's move this aside. Let's, let's move that over there for a second. Let's use this as a way to flip. And don't mark yourself, Amanda. Um, <laughs> So we're gonna take this and we're gonna flip it. Oh, it went, went all the way over there. Does it count? It's Tails. So uh, Tails is Oreo. So we're gonna go ahead and cross that off and we're gonna put $3. So one, two, three towards this. And then we're gonna flip again. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> I'm terrible at flipping coins. I have watched videos on it just to see if I could get better at it. And it doesn't really work out very well for me. Okay, so whatever it lands on. Heads. So heads is frappe. So that's a, that washes itself out there. We're gonna do one more round. Let's see if I can do this better. Oh, I did it better. Tails which is the Oreo, which is another $3. So one, two, and three. Let's do it one more time. And heads, oh my gosh, we did it again. So it was a tie. So tie. So we just kind of canceled itself out. We should have 10 bucks here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How do, we, oh, okay. I think I did, did I do that wrong? Was that a heads? Oh, I did do it wrong. I marked off the wrong thing, so oops. And I don't think I added in that last two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did not add in some correct money. So we're gonna put that there. And I think that we're gonna put this away for now. So let's dry this off. We will stick this in here with the coin and the $10. Alrighty, next we're going to go on to our Rainbow Sprite Challenge. So Rainbow Sprite Challenge has its board and then it also has an envelope, but I'm using this big envelope because I want to keep going with this as best I can. You play this game however you want to. Um, however, I play it where I pick a sprite card when I land on a sprite. So let's put this back in here. And let's put that like that. And where is our dice? I had a dice. Oh, here it is. Awesome. All right, so I'm super excited, you guys. Like, it's been a minute since I've been able to play games. So let's roll the dice. Um, oh, man, I am just not doing good today. I have another dice. So we're gonna start in the corner. We'll start at one. 
So one, two. So we're going to um, grab a sprite card, roll a dice, add the amount. So let's roll the dice. And we got a two. So we're going to add $2 into this. And we're going to mark where we were with this pen. And then let's roll again, two again. So one, two, another, another sprite. So actually, yeah, yeah, it would be another sprite. So we'll mark that. Oh, I need to pick up the card. Oh, roll the dice, add the amount. Oh, I did it. I have a second card like that. Oh, I know I put more than one in there. So we're going to put in $1. And then let's roll again. And we got a four. So one, two, three, four. Another sprite card. So favorite number between one and ten. I like the number three. So one, two, and three. Three. Oh, I already marked where we were. Four. So one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, we are just hitting all the sprites today. That's a terrible marking. There we go. So Rainbow Ride, four dollars. So one, two, three, and four. And I think I'm going to stop there and I can start on the board at any place, any time, because this is my game and that's how we're going to play. So, but I think I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to stay on my spot. So we're going to try to really color her spot in. All right. We're gonna put these back. I really needed to shuffle these before we did this. So the next time we get into these tiny little cards, we will do that. How much should we save here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I'm gonna put the ones back and I'm gonna grab this 10. I think we're off to a great start. So what are you doing today? Do you know anybody else's birthday today? Do you have a birthday coming up? Do you have a kiddo with a birthday coming up? By the way, at the end of this video, I have a super big surprise. Um, we yet again didn't laminate Ariel um, in her coffee challenge. Let's go to the Fairy Dust Scratch Off game. This has directions and it comes however you want to play it. And this already has some cash in there. So there's three versions to play. Pick a fairy card, pick a fairy card of any kind, then roll the dice and add the scratch off amount and roll the dice again to add the extra into the envelope. Um, pick a fairy card, roll the dice, add them together and roll one more time. And then version three for low income, scratch the fairy card, then Add the amount to your envelope plus one to two dollars. So however you want to play this is however you want to play this. So I am going to borrow my quarter. I really need to get a scratch off thing. I think I might do that. So we're going to scratch one of these to see how much it is. So we have four. And then I'm going to play in the way where I roll the dice and I add it to the fairy card. So we're going to add five into this one, which is actually over here. So we're going to add five and then let's go ahead and scratch one more because I'm feeling lucky because it's my birthday. And we are gonna add two plus whatever we roll, which is six, Oop, which is $8. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
So five, six, seven, eight. This looks so messy without my tray. And now I think we're going to stop there so we can keep going. So five, 10, 11, 12, $13 is going in. And let's see what we have in total. So that means we have five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 dollars. That is awesome. What am I saving for? I don't know at the moment. We will keep going as long as we can before we empty these out. Next is Cindy Cat Budgets. Um, spin the or the spin and save. I did have to take out $15 to go towards my kiddo's birthday, but we're going to spin and we're going to see what, it, what we land on. Ooh, so we landed on the five and it's not a times two. So we are going to put five on here and we're going to add five. Oh, I forgot to put my fairy cards back. We need to do that. Let's be organized, Amanda. Be organized in your ADHD life. Okay. So there's that. Then let's spin again. Come over here. We need to put the quarter back too. Oop. 10, and it's not a times two, so we're gonna add 10 in here. And I think we're gonna stop there. So we regained $15. That makes me happy. I like that it's a spin and save because it's something totally different than coloring and rolling the dice. As much as I love to roll the dice and color and all the things, um, I do like to have something different. We're gonna skip that challenge because that one needs to be laminated. We have our spring stuff which I'm going to get out here in a second. I need to actually put the quarter back because we're going to be organized and not sloppy because we're 35 now, right? <laughs> uh, all right, so let's move this aside for the moment. Let's move these aside. Let's get to our spring stuff. All right. So we have a bunch of spring challenges. This one came from Lady Die Saves. And this one here, I made them all a dollar a piece because it was another roll and save, which is fine. But we're going to try to finish this off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Woohoo! We finished a challenge! So $9. So I'm going to get two fives and put back a one. And we are going to add this in. And I'll count that in a moment, but I'm excited that this is complete. I can either keep going with this or I can, or well, I mean keep going, I mean like erase it and restart it again, or I can continue on with my spring challenges. My spring challenges don't have to be finished before spring. However, it would be a nice challenge to be able to do that. So I have this one here, but I think I'm going to skip over that one today. And we are going to scratch off. And I think I actually have a coin in my pocket. So I don't have to keep getting that out. I have a penny. So let's scratch one of these. Ah, oh, we got a high number. I think. Did we? No, we got six. I know it looks like a nine, but it's actually six because if you hold it like that, it's a six. So five and six into that one. Let's scratch another oh and we got a seven amanda quit scratching <laughs> no we're we're here to save i need one of those vacuum things so somebody always tries to 
correct me in videos and to be honest with you guys I don't care I'm saving it makes me happy so two three four five six and seven the guy at the bank gave me my money so weird it was just so weird and then let's go ahead and pop this in here there's all that scratch off stuff everywhere need little vacuum I don't even know where you guys find those little vacuums do you Amazon tiny vacuum or something I don't know and then we're gonna go on to the two dollar so we're gonna add two dollars into this and I am just going to color that in I know I made it dingy I have another green too um, let's, let's call that good for the spring stuff for now. So we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh-oh, 30. <laughs> oh no, I gotta start over. Because I am not mathing today. My brain is totally dead today. I slept really crappy last night. And I don't even know why. So 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 36 bucks in spring. How awesome is that? That makes me crazy excited. So we're going to put that back in the envelope. And then we have an IOU for this. We have a bowling game that we need to work on. And I need to figure out where I put that. I wish that I was a much more organized person with all my papers and stuff, but I'm not. And that's okay. I'm much more organized in real, real life, you know, stuff. Um, so we are going to take away this IOU. We're going to put it aside. We're going to add $3 into that. So one, two, and three. We got to get to our bowling. All right. So I made my own version of roll the dice, but for bowling. So let's roll the dice. Ooh, a three, which is $4. So one two three and if i can get it four one two three four and let's color one of those in so number three is four and we will make it orange make the whole thing orange okay and then we're gonna roll again if this pencil will stay oh that was a crappy roll <laughs> okay we're gonna stick with that one so one is six dollars one is six dollars i like it when you get to pick your own denominations of how you're going to be playing out your savings challenges so one two three four five and six and let's go ahead and play one more time got another one so let's color that one as well that one is going to be six dollars so one two three four five and six so we have cash there and we have this cash all in one so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five 25 bucks in this one already. That's crazy pants to me. All right. 
so we did a little bit of everything we had to skip the ones that i haven't done yet um like the little mermaid um aerial coffee um game board and i believe it was operation by the craft bin so this is all completed we have some money left over so what are we going to do with this money i'm going to put this aside let's put that aside and let's put this aside all right so let's get in here and i've been terrible you guys i haven't been rolling the dice for our christmas challenge so i think i'm going to add a few dollars into that just because so let's add three dollars into that for the times that we've missed and if we have enough we will add more all right so we've got our minis what is this one this one is from jamie's realistic life and i think it has 10 bucks in it yep and then we are gonna try our best to figure out what we can put in here one two three four five and six we have six bucks and there's a six so let's color in this six because why in the heck not so i do want to thank everybody who cash apps me anybody who has purchased anything from my shop even if it was a part of the one dollar sale it all gets me closer to a goal and I had a big goal for birthdays this year, right? If you know and you've been watching, then you have you have absolutely every single clue on what I was trying to do. So we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We have $16 in this challenge. Woo woo! That makes me excited. I want to get some of these challenges done. I'm not in a hurry though. I'm not like a lot of other people where they're like, I'm trying to get as many done as possible. I don't have that kind of money, boo-boo. Sorry. Um, but, and we added some more in here. Let's, let's add, add this up. So we have five, six, seven, eight, and nine dollars going into Christmas. Every single dollar is going to count, but I am going to go grab the super amazing surprise. I'll be right back. It won't take me long. So, okay, here we go. This is the huge, exciting surprise. We got it. We were able to accomplish getting this Nintendo Switch for my oldest kiddo's birthday which is in five days you guys so i'm going to be wrapping this baby up and it is going to be going out the door to his dad's house where he is going to open this on his 13th birthday and he is going to be so excited you guys i cannot believe it and here's the kicker so i did save quite a bit of money on this going to GameStop. I was able to get $25 off because I'm a pro member. And if you bought a console, it was $25 off or towards your next purchase. And then I had $8 in credit because I did um, have a bunch of points. And then I had my $5 off with my pro membership. Plus, I was able to get Stardew Valley, which is going to be on a download card code thing. And all together, I spent $318. And some of that money came from you guys who cash apped me. Um, he still has a bunch of stuff he wants for this thing. But you know what? We've got tons of time because... Christmas is going to roll down the corner before we know it. So I appreciate anybody who sent us cash, who bought from our shop, 
who supported this journey in getting this Nintendo Switch. So, we are out of money. We are out of time. I'm going to go spend the rest of my birthday with my husband. We're going to go pick up my youngest kiddo. And we're going to party like it's 1999. Because why not? <laughs> but as always, do what you can with what you got. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.